And happy Thanksgiving! We're with some folks who are giving to people in need. We'll show you what's cooking coming up. Sunrise starts now. Our top story this morning. Right now, one group is already in the kitchen cooking up a hot meal. It's a breakfast served daily at one of the Salvation Army Shelled Centers in Minneapolis. But on Thanksgiving, the meal takes on special meaning. Kaya Edwards is there live, and Kaya, those who come will get more than a meal. Tell us about this. They will, they will. So this is the Harbor Light Center, and the volunteers are already here. They've been cooking. This is Chris. Hey, <laughs> morning. All right, so I'm also helping out, just so you know. I'm not just standing here, right? All right, so breakfast begins in about half an hour from now, and it is for people in need. And this morning, yes, they will get a gift as well, uh, but we're going to show you that a little bit later. We'll show you that coming up at 5.30 this morning, and we'll also hear from the guy who runs this whole operation with his wife. And so that's it for now. We'll send it back to you. All right, thanks a lot for that, Kaya. Can't wait to check in, whack with you a little bit later. Like you're doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, geez, she's giving instructions, too. It might be a little too early for turkey, but people at One Salvation Army Center are ready to eat, and volunteers are ready to serve. Kaya Edwards takes us inside the Harbor Light Center for this inspiring story of giving. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. About 15 minutes ago, this breakfast got started, and you can see there are a lot of people here, but I want to bring in Richard Barr from Threshold to New Life. Good morning. You're, you're behind this, you and your wife, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Give her some credit. Yeah. Yeah, Carla. <laughs> Carla. Yeah. Hey, Carla. Absolutely. Okay, so this is awesome to see. You know, we're get, you're giving on Thanksgiving, and, you're, you know, it just means a lot. I assume. So can you tell me about what it means to you to be able to help others today? And actually every day. Yeah, every day. So actually 2.4 Ministries operates this breakfast and we serve every single day for the last 10 years. So it's all funded by um, by volunteers and by Grace Fellowship Church in Brooklyn Park. Amazing. And we've got over 40 volunteers that work each one day per week yeah. that come down here, get here at 4.30 in the morning, cook and serve for an hour, uh, prep, prep for an hour, serve for an hour, and then we clean up for half an hour. Yeah, and so the difference though with today being Thanksgiving is that they also get something else in addition to a meal. Yeah. So let's see what's inside here. Yeah, so the, our, our organization, uh, Threshold New Life, put together these personal care kits. So we've got socks that were donated by Bombas, uh, Jelly Cat donated the, the, the bags, the DOP kits. We've got washcloths, soap, shampoo, um, toothpaste, toothbrush, nail clipper, Toothbrush, yeah. Essentials. So, yeah. Yeah. And and part of the thing is that if you're if you're homeless or you're living on the street, uh, size matters and size meaning small, you know, because if you have to carry everything that you uh, own, you want to keep it small. small. Yeah. yeah. So this is a That's really nice small kit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can put it in your backpack. Okay, Richard. Thank you so much. So he'll be back at six o'clock though because we've got another treat we're going to talk to you guys about, and it's not food. We'll send it back to you. All right, looking forward to hearing that. Thank you, Kaya. Right now, one group is spending Thanksgiving by giving. While most of us were sleeping, they were already busy in the kitchen cooking a meal for people in need. And Kaya Edwards is live at the Salvation Army's Harbor Light Center in Minneapolis. Good morning, Kaya. Good morning. And so breakfast is happening right now, and we've got another half hour or so to go as people get these free meals today. But also, I want to explain this because I think it's really interesting. So every day, this group, uh, Threshold to New Life, they'll provide meals just like you're seeing right now. But Thanksgiving, being Thanksgiving, they're also taking it a step further. And you'll notice I'm holding all these things. They are giving uh, away these personal care kits, which is just awesome because it's got socks in there, um, treats, and so on. Now, last half hour, we introduced you to Richard. He and his wife run this operation. And coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk about this. Yeah, he's taking his mission further with a book um, to kind of help spread the word about the importance on giving. And we'll have that coming up. Back to you. Right now, bellies are full and it's only 6.30. Volunteers got up early to cook meals for people in need. They actually offer the breakfast daily, but on Thanksgiving, there are some extra treats. And Kaya Edwards is live at the Salvation Army's Harbor Light Center in Minneapolis. Kaya, what's going on today? Hey, good morning. So breakfast just wrapped up a couple of minutes ago. This is Richard Barr. He makes sure that there's breakfast here every day. Um, today, though, they also had personal care kits that you guys were giving out. But from my experience, I thought it was it was just really 
fun. It was fun to chat with people, and you know, some of them were cracking jokes, some of the guys were. And I think that's a major message that we have to remember is these are people. Yeah, and so the book, Those People, uh, that, that I wrote is based on things that I've learned about people in the homeless community that it's not always what you think homelessness is. And um, over the period of the last 10 years that I've been serving, I met some really, really remarkable people with some deep, really deep and rich character. And I just wanted a chance to tell their stories and maybe in some way try to help change the paradigm of what people think about the homeless. Okay, we got to wrap up now, but I do have one question for you. If you're comfortable sharing, what's your plan for today, Thanksgiving? Uh, I've got a couple of people coming over <laughs> that uh, that I know from the homeless community that yeah. are going to share the meal with Wait, us today. Your kids, tell, tell them about the kids. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the kids are always like, you know, who's dad bringing this today? Year. This year. Yeah, <laughs> I right. love it. Yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah. yeah. So plug the book, thosepeoplebook.org. There you go. Yeah. Okay, if you want to get that book and read stories about those people. All right, we'll send it back to you. Happy Thanksgiving.